Some birds streak across the sky, terrifying all the prey on the land down below. But some, some are beautiful and dazzling. The peak of beauty in the animal kingdom. And these are just some of them. These are the most beautiful birds on the planet Earth. Number 15. Albino Peacocks We have all seen regular peacocks, which are known as one of the most amazing looking birds in the world, with their huge fan tails of shimmering green and blue and gold. But there is another variety of peacock called the albino peacock. It is not in fact an albino animal, but a white variant of the Indian blue peafowl. If anything, the white version is even more beautiful and amazing than the colored one. It is the structure of the feathers which creates the complex shimmering and changing colors in a regular peacock. Why different forms of pigments create colors of which overlap to create even more colors. But without any pigment, we can see the play of light on the feathers giving this bird something pure and mysterious. They are also quite rare, so if you ever get the opportunity to see one, make sure to bring a camera as they have starred in some spectacular photographs. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. The golden pheasant is truly one of the most beautiful animals on the entire planet, its unique coloring ensuring it lives up to its name. Also known as the rainbow pheasant or Chinese pheasant, these stunning birds are native to the forests in the more mountainous areas of the west of China. However, in more recent times, feral populations have been established all over the place including, but not limited to Argentina, New Zealand, China, and the United Kingdom. Kingdom. The biggest are 41 inches in length, with two-thirds of that being its tail. With a bright red body and a golden crest, there truly is no other bird like them. Remember to comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 14. Bohemian Waxwing the Bohemian Waxwing lives in northern forests across Europe, Asia, and North America. They are quite a common bird, which is tame enough to enter into urban areas in search of food. They are about the same size as a starling, with a wingspan of around 14 inches. These birds are known for the red waxy lips on their wings, from which they get their name. That's their whole color scheme which is quite subtle and beautiful. The base color is a brownish gray, but the males have a black mask and throat. Behind the mask is a white stripe, and there are two more white stripes below the eyes. The tail has bright yellow and black bands, and the wings have that red streak, which looks like sealing wax. They have brown eyes and dark colored legs. One of the other curious aspects to this bird is that they sometimes eat fermented fruit. And although they are able to metabolize alcohol, they do sometimes get a drunk on it. So this is a kind of party bird in a very fashionable suit. Number 13. Wood Duck the wood duck is a species of perching duck native to North America. It is known as one of the continent's most colorful birds. This is quite a common duck, and it likes to live in marshes, swamps, lakes, and ponds on the west coast of the United States, and all up on the eastern coast of North America. It has a wingspan of up to 30 inches, meaning it is about three quarters the size of the average mallard. Unlike a lot of other ducks, it has sharp talons which allow it to perch in trees. The attractive plumage of the wood duck meant that it was often brought to other countries such as England where breeding populations have been established in the past. Although today this bird is very widespread, it was severely threatened in the late 19th century as its feathers were extremely popular as decorations for ladies' hats. Since then, however, they have made a great recovery, and if you go out to look for one, they shouldn't be too hard to spot with those amazing feathers. Number 12. Flamingo The world-famous flamingo is an example of the expression you are what you eat. 
These long-legged wading birds are known for their bright pink color, long necks, and black beaks. The pink in the plumage comes from their diet, produced by the algae and invertebrates they feed on. Beta-carotene in the algae is an organic chemical which produces the reddish-pink tint, and as you might be able to guess, this chemical is also present in carrots. There are more pigment-producing chemicals of a similar kind in other parts of the flamingo diet, such as mollusks and crustaceans. There are four species of flamingo in the Americas and a further two in Europe, Africa, and Asia. The biggest is the greater flamingo, which lives in Africa and can stand as much as 4 feet 7 inches. In England, they even have an amusement park named after them with rides, attractions, and of course, some real-life flamingos. Number 11. Hyacinth Macaw the hyacinth macaw is not only the longest parrot in the world, measuring 3 foot 3 inches from beak to tail, it is also one of the most beautifully colored. In the wild, macaws are faithful to their partners for life, and often travel in small flocks of up to 8 couples. They sometimes gather in large groups on piles of clay, which are known as macaulics. They are also known for their very loud screeching and their ability to mimic other sounds, including the human voice. This has made them very sought after as pets. They are also desirable because of their minimalist color scheme, which is a vibrant blue, with small flecks of yellow around the eyes and throat. Its popularity as a pet, as well as habitat destruction in its native Brazil, have led to almost total devastation of the populations of this bird in the wild. But they are now protected, and we can maybe help these beautiful blue parrots begin to increase in numbers once more. Number 10. The Blue Jay Blue jays are quite a common bird throughout the eastern and central parts of the United States and Canada. They are known for their blue plumage, as well as the crest on the top of their heads. The word jay is an old English word for a noisy bird that calls loudly, and blue jays certainly do make a lot of noise. In fact, they often imitate the call of hawks as a means of warning other blue jays that hawks might be in the area. This can be beneficial to other birds who will also fly away at the sound of the apparent hawk. Blue jays are about a foot long in length, and although they are not very fast flyers, they can be very aggressive towards other birds and will fight off predatory birds to defend themselves and their nests. The blue jay is known as a symbol of the Toronto Blue Jays Major League Baseball team. And it is also an important creature in African-American mythology, believed to have been responsible for the creation of the Earth, as well as being associated with the devil. Number 9. Scarlet Macaw the scarlet macaw is another parent of the macaw family. Unlike the hyacinth macaw, this bird has several colors and is pretty much the bird you first think of when someone says the word parrot. Blue, yellow, green, and of course, scarlet are the main colors of this bird, and they can live for as much as 90 years. Although they have suffered extinctions in some of their former habitats, unlike their blue-colored cousins, scarlet macaws are not endangered. These birds are able to eat and digest plants, which would be toxic to many other birds, and it is believed that they are able to do this because they eat a lot of clay, a substance which can sometimes neutralize plant toxins. They are sometimes confused with very similar-looking green-winged macaws, but you can see examples of this bird in many zoos all over the world, should you need to take a closer look at this striking creature. Number 8. Painted Bunting The painted bunting kind of looks like a mini parrot, but this is a songbird native to Mexico and North America. The male has often been described as the most beautiful bird in North America, due to its fantastic technicolor coat of blue, green, and red. It is a songbird, and it loves to sing. In spite of these bright colors, they are quite difficult to see, as they are shy and secretive, and they tend to blend in with the foliage around them, even when they're singing. They are also only about 5 inches long, making them a relatively small bird. They were once some of the most popular birds in the world for keeping
housekeeping in cages. But this practice is now illegal, as efforts have been increased to help protect this bird from the pet trade, which was threatening it with extinction in the wild. In the breeding season, the painted bunting males can become very aggressive towards one another, even resulting in deaths as they compete for females. So they might look pretty, but these birds can be pretty gangsta too. Number 7. Sunbird Sunbirds are also known as spider hunters. As these birds eat a lot of spiders, they also feed on nectar from flowers, similar to their relative the hummingbird. While the hummingbird lives in the Americas, and another similar bird called the honey eater lives in Australia, sunbirds live in Africa and Asia primarily, and they are the most brightly colored. In spite of the beautiful plumage, these birds have not become popular as cage birds. Due to their song being considered unpleasant, they have also proven to be surprisingly adaptable to new habitats as their traditional habitats have been destroyed by humans. Not only do these birds eat spiders, they also take spider webs and reuse the threads to stick together their nests. Living in the tropics, they are very important pollinators, visiting many plants and helping to keep the equilibrium of nature healthy. The whole family of sunbirds and spider hunters contains 146 species, many of which, especially the males, have incredible and bright plumage, ranging from red to blues and other colors too. Number 6. Baltimore Oriole the Baltimore Oriole is a kind of blackbird, which is not black at all, but in fact has a bright yellow plumage. It was named after Lord Baltimore, an English nobleman who founded the province of Maryland. The bird's colors matched this lord's coat of arms, and it is now the state bird of Maryland, and the baseball team of the city of Baltimore is named after this bird. The word Oriole is derived from the Latin word for golden. Similar birds to this in Europe were once believed to be a possible cure for jaundice. He simply had to look at the yellow birds and you would recover from your sickness. It turns out that this is not really the best way to recover from jaundice. Would you believe it? Many Orioles are taken as prey by a diverse range of species including crows, squirrels, cats, grackles, and blue jays, who will eat the eggs and the fledglings, while the adult birds are eaten by hawks and owls. They themselves like to eat ripe, dark-colored fruit, and many gardens in North America leave out food that these birds enjoy, such as grape jelly. Number 5. Dusky Lory the dusky lory is a species of parrot which is found in New Guinea. It is a short-tailed parrot which measures around 10 inches long. It is brown but has a striking orange band pattern around its body. These parrots have specialized tongues designed for feeding on nectar. The tongues are lined with tiny hairs in the shape of a U. These hairs are known as papillae. When the parrot sticks out its tongue to feed, the hairs stand on end, making it much easier to lick up all of the pollen and nectar. Because of this, they are sometimes known as the brush-tongued parrots. They spend 70% of the day foraging, and can eat up to 650 flowers per day. They also enjoy eating fruit, and have a special part of their beak, which allows them to extract the juice from hard pieces of vegetation that they might not otherwise be able to drink. The dusky lorry is a special bird, and loves to make a lot of noise while it flies around in the forest canopy, or in its cage in a zoo. Number 4. Indian Roller The Indian Roller is a beautiful bird, not only for its plumage, but also for its acrobatic flight patterns. In the breeding season, the male Indian Roller performs all kinds of flying tricks to impress the females with his agility. As the name suggests, they are most common in India, and they have been adopted as the state bird by many Indian states. Their color is a mixture of brown and Prussian blue, with a sky blue tail. They perch on trees or on wires, heading down to the ground to catch prey. Their favorite meals include insects, spiders, scorpions, small snakes, and amphibians. 
This bird is attracted to fire for some reason and will congregate around large fires, perhaps because fires cause insects to flee into the open where the birds can hunt them. They are also known for following farming tractors, which sometimes spell insects into the road. This bird has long been associated with Hindu legends, and it is said to be sacred to the Hindu god Vishnu. So how's an association with Shiva due to the blue coloring which both a god and bird share? Number 3. Keel-Billed Toucan The Keel-Billed Toucan is otherwise known as a Sulphur-Breasted Toucan and the Rainbow-Billed Toucan, which should give you some idea of the appearance of this bird, which is highly colorful. These birds live in Latin America and are the national birds of the country of Belize. The massive bill makes up one-third of this bird's two-foot length. It is made of keratin, a very strong and light substance, meaning that it is not as cumbersome as it appears. These are very social birds and usually fly around in flocks of up to 12 individuals. The birds like to play with each other, performing a kind of sword fight with their beaks as they also throw fruit into each other's mouths. They are very skillful with these large bills and can reach fruit that they might not be able to with a smaller bill. The bill also helps them to dissect the fruit, which they then throw in the air and catch in their mouths. They are hunted for meat and for their beaks, and population numbers are in decline. They have shown some resilience, however, and are able to cohabit with human beings. Number 2. Green Peafowl The green peafowl is a kind of large pheasant, which is also known as a dragon bird. A close relative of the peacock, these birds are sometimes considered even more beautiful. These birds are strong flyers and the largest malls can have a wingspan of up to 5.5 feet in length. They live in a wide range of habitats, both tropical and subtropical, as well as a kind of forest, grassland, bamboo, savanna, and scrubland. They also like to be near water whenever possible. They were once believed to be a Japanese bird by Europeans, due to the frequency of these birds being depicted in Japanese artworks. But in fact, they had been imported into Japan by the emperor for many centuries from Southeast Asia, where they are native. It was a very important bird to the ancient monarchs of Burma, and has since been depicted in many forms of art, including in Britain and the United States. Its eye-catching beauty has fascinated artists all over the world, it seems. Number 1. Atlantic Puffin The Atlantic Puffin is the only puffin species native to the Atlantic Ocean. There are two other passing species found in the Northern Pacific, known as the Tuft Puffin and the Horned Puffin. This pattern can be found in Norway, Greenland, the US state of Maine, Great Britain, the Faroe Islands, Nova Scotia, and most commonly in Iceland. Population numbers are high, and the range is very wide, although in recent years their numbers have taken a sharp decline, meaning they have now been given the status of vulnerable. They are a highly distinctive bird with an attractive black and white coloring. While there are many factors causing the decline of puffins, they are particularly vulnerable to oil spills due to spending their winters out on the open water. One oil spill in 1967 reduced the number of breeding pairs of puffins by 85%. They've traditionally been hunted by the people of Iceland and Faroe Islands, although conservation efforts now mean hunting could be restricted in spite of its traditional status. They have long been important to the culture of many of the countries where they live, including Canada, Norway, and Great Britain, where they have featured on stamps and being used as symbols for publishing houses and many other things. What a lot of beautiful birds we've seen today. Which of these stood out to you as your favorite? Do you think we should be doing more to protect some of these birds from extinction? Let us know in the comments below, and also check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!